the side control here. Okay. Um, what I like to do when I got here, I like to feed the lapel under his arm and then give right here, okay? Uh, this really staples his shoulder and it's hard for him to turn to me. Even if he underhook my arm, it's hard for me for him to turn. As long as I keep my hand on the floor, okay? So I keep my hand on the floor and even if Rolando try to underhook me here and turn, it's really hard. So I really like this grip here, okay? So as soon as I got on the side control or on the half guard, so I like to feed the lapel like this. And you gotta make sure that you control the entire lapel. Don't grab just here, like try to get the whole uh, gi, okay, the lapel, right here. So now look, I put my shoulder on his face, okay? So now I'm gonna bring his, uh, my uh, leg under his arm and I'll put it like right close to my, my uh, elbow, okay? So once I'm here, I'm gonna do like a fake knee on belly, right? <coughs> so I'll put the knee on belly here, okay? So once I put the knee on belly, I'm gonna control his wrist. So he always gonna try to push my knee out of, out of his uh, belly here. So I'm gonna control like this. Don't grab like that, because then you cannot close the elbow, okay? So grab with your thumb like this, so you can lock your elbow. Right now, I'm gonna wipe my right leg right close to his hips, okay? So I'm here, go here, and then I wipe my leg right close to his hips, and I'll sit, okay? So in the meantime, like I'm. I'm trapping his arm here between my rib and uh, my leg. See that? His arm here is getting trapped. So now what I gotta do is just like step my left foot, my left leg over his shoulder. And then Rolando will turn towards me, okay? Once I'm here, I use my foot on the hips, okay? This foot will be here on the hips. So I just keep my hips, control my shin. And then I cross my uh, calf right, uh, right on top of his neck. Okay. and I lock. So you don't need to do this and then bring the arm to the other side, okay? I feel when you try to do that, it is an opportunity for your opponent to escape, okay? So keep controlling, and then if you need to lock, you just like scoot back. When you scoot back, it's easier for you to, you just escape your hips, it's easier for you to lock the triangle, figure for a leg, okay? My goal, my intention is to put his biceps against his face, okay? So when I got here, as I'm escaping, I'm squeezing okay, his, his bicep against his face. So I cross my leg and then I lock. Once I lock, I pull his head down and then finish him. Okay, again. Hey everyone, don't forget to like and comment on this video, okay? This is very, very important. And if you want to watch more videos, click on see more videos. Oh, and also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's help us, okay? We help in the community, we help your jiu-jitsu, and hope you enjoy it. Us. So the other side right now, so I'm here, pass the lapel under his arm, okay? And control, it's a very strong control here. Make sure you keep this arm over your lap here, okay? Knee on belly, he's gonna put the hand right there. Control with the thumb facing side, okay, like this. Lock your elbow. So now you wipe your foot close to his lower back and sit. Okay, usually in the fight, your opponent will try to come up. But that's when you throw your leg over. Okay, so once you get the leg over, let go of the lapel. Control the shin. Escape your hips and scoot back like this. You scoot back like this, so, and lock. Okay, so another thing that I do here, turn around, go on the other way. Uh, while I'm locking the triangle here, this hand is right here. Okay, so I'm blocking. Cause I don't want my opponent to stack me like this. Okay, so if we go and grab here, maybe like he's gonna start bringing my knee to my chest and then he's gonna pop the head up and end up like passing my guard. So when you try to do that, look. And also I like to put my head on the floor as well while I'm just like escaping here. Okay, so that way I, I keep my knee in the same line of my hips. So it's really hard for him to pass my guard. Okay, that's when I lock and then I squeeze and finish the fight, okay? Oh, Professor, you know I have a really short leg. It's hard for me to lock the triangle here, okay? I suggest you to, to change for omoplata, okay? Like this. Every time you feel that your legs are too short or your opponent is too big to lock the triangle, use the triangle setup to apply a nice omoplata, okay? Then you can go for the omoplata submission here, okay?
So when I fought, sometimes I, I fight or training uh, against like bigger guys. So I use the triangle set up from different scenarios to apply the homoplata, okay? I don't like much to go from triangle to armbar. It works, it works really well. But I feel like when I go to the armbar, they always pass on my guard. Like, I give a great opportunity for my opponent to pass the guard. For example, if I get a triangle here, and then I try to do this, you know, I feel like he can pass my guard. You know, he smash me and stack me and start passing my guard. Like, I'm not saying this is wrong, okay? It works, right? But most of the, most of the time like that, I see people try to do this, right? They end up like losing the position, okay? Because their opponent is like, gonna start like smashing here. So of course, there's different ways for you to, to keep him away from you, but I feel it's easier for you even like to take the elbow out like and pass my guard here, okay? So instead, every time that I'm here and I feel like I can't lock my leg, I keep his arm outside. Two things that I can do is the Kimura. I like to apply the Kimura here because you don't need to lock the triangle to go for the Kimura here, okay? Or pass my leg over and start going for a nice formal plot. I'm not saying that it's wrong to do the armbar from the triangle, okay? Again, if you succeed with that, great, you can do it. But just like uh, I'm saying that because sometimes you fight against someone really, really good, where like they know like from the triangle can go for the armbar, they're always gonna get a nice stack in the passing your guard, especially if they're bigger than you, okay? Did you guys see the techniques, All right? You understand? Yeah. So I'm here, control, feed the lapel under the arm. Okay, if his elbow is inside, okay, here, I'm gonna put his, uh, my leg under his arm. If it's really hard for me to do this, okay, I gotta do this, look. I change my, my hips like this, and I move forward, now I change again, okay? Because sometimes it's really hard to simply like do this. You know, if you feel that, use the, the leg that's close to his hips to bring his elbow forward, and then give to the other leg, okay? Now once you're here, it's really hard for him to escape. Okay, knee on belly, control his wrist, lock the triangle, okay? Once I'm here, control here, his biceps, okay? Escape her hips, lock the leg, and then finish a nice triangle. If it's hard for me to lock the triangle, set up a nice omoplata, okay? Our goal is to finish the triangle, okay? All right, you guys got it? Let's go, one, two, three. With over 10,000 hours of training content across nearly 5,000 individual videos, we're here to help you reach your highest level of achievement. It's available online, wherever you are, and made for people just like you. Excuses disappear when you set sight on your best self. With Atos Online training in the palm of your hand, you're unstoppable. Quit wasting time and start developing your competitive edge with Atos Online. Join today and get started for as little as $25 a month. Your future is worth it. Train smarter, study more, be legendary. Um, sometimes he frame like this on me. I can also trap his, his arm like this. Okay, I can go with my lapel over the arm. Uh, just a good trap as well. Okay, it works really well from half guard and uh, side control, okay? So he's like, this, all right? So it's very important to keep his arm in, over my leg here. And my elbow needs to be really close to my knee, okay? Very important. Now, for the knee on belly. I can score the two points here, okay? If I'm fighting uh, IBJJF, I need to take this knee off the mat, right? In order to get the points. If I got like this, that's enough for two points. This is gonna be just an advantage, okay? Even like in the regular position, not the regular position, but the other position we learn, same thing. I put the knee on belly, and I do this. But you know, you, you notice that I trap his arm here. I don't do this. Because then I'll give him more freedom like to escape, to grab my foot, to push my foot, push my leg. So when I put the knee on belly, I keep this arm here trapped like this. Okay? Just enough time for me to get the points and then go back again. Okay, if I need. Just a little tip because when you're on a side control, you can score five points. Three from the pass, plus two from the neon belly, if you like to compete. Okay? 
And of course, the points will secure more the fights for you, you know, if you like to compete. Okay, the points system helps you uh, to win tournaments too. So you're here, okay, knee on belly. You can lift like this, try to move around. See, now I go back. Okay, I don't need to stay there. I don't like this idea. Like, release the arm, okay? It's good, but he can push me with this arm, okay? All right, we can also trap his arm like this. If you frame on my neck like this, I open the lapel and I trap his wrist. Now it's really hard for me to escape. I can do the exact same thing too. Here, sit and then get a nice frame, okay? Once in a while, try to stack me here. Turn around one. You see that if my knee goes close to my chest, that's when I start feeling uncomfortable. Okay, I cannot let this happen in the triangle. Okay, and a lot of times I see people trying to lock the triangle and then their opponent one, grab the collar and then start putting their knee on their chest and then start passing their guard or smashing them. Okay, so always your knee needs to be in the line of your hips. Go around. I can go with my hand here or here. Okay, just, and use your head to go back. Try to stack your own. I just keep moving my shoulder back. And when I feel like I'm in a good position, I lock the triangle. Okay? Once I lock the triangle, uh, the figure four, it's really hard for me to escape. Okay? But there's an other position here too. Okay? So many times when I get the triangle here, my opponent grab the hands together under my hips. Like this, okay? And it feels like he can, he can uh, resist more, okay? Because if I put his biceps against his face, like I say, he's gonna feel like choked, right? Just like a triangle, arm triangle, all the submissions that I have, one arm I have inside, I need to think about putting his, his biceps against his face like this, okay? That's when I get a, a really nice choke. So he knows that so he's gonna keep his biceps away from his face. I can be with the figure four, or like, like this, like a, a close guard, okay? As long as I keep uh, everything under control. Of course, the figure four here will be way better for you, okay? But one thing you can do is, you can lock the triangle to the other side, to the uh, wrong side, let's say, to the opposite side. Because now I'm not thinking about choking him, I just want to control. And sometimes locking to the side, you feel more comfortable, okay? And he's gonna feel really uncomfortable. It's still like it's hard for him to escape. Now look, I need to go with my uh, hand as a C grip, grabbing his wrist, okay? But, control, he's controlling here. It's really hard for me to just grab like this and push, because I don't have like too much strength here. What I do? I lift my hips and then I do a C grip. When I go back, now I have the push. You see, so I keep my elbow on the floor, okay? Right here, Roland is already feeling his shoulder, okay? So you feel a lot of pressure on his shoulder. So now look, I can go as a Kimura grip and then finish him right here. I can keep the figure four, okay? Or I can <coughs> go with my leg over his head and do this. But when I go with the leg over the head, I know he can roll, Roland will roll. Like this, okay? If I follow him like this, yes, I'll sweep him, okay? But sometimes I have an opportunity to escape. Okay, I lift, I grab, I control, I break his grip. Sometimes, turn on, on. If, uh, if you feel like his grip is really strong, like even you here, you, you try to grab the position, it's really, really strong. So you can go like this, look. You can grab his biceps and kick his hand with your leg, like this, to break the grip and then go back here. Okay, then you set up the position. Because you, you don't have space to put your hand inside sometimes. Okay, you just break and then go back here. Okay, once you go back here, okay, you're gonna get the Kimura. Now here, if you roll, I'll be, I'll be in a very good position. When I pass my leg over, and I feel my opponent is rolling, go roll. When he rolls, I bring my knee this way, I don't follow him, because then I can change for a nice armbar. Okay, I just keep the Kimura trap, and I don't turn belly down, you know? So I just let him roll, and then just pop my knee out, and he's gonna be like between my legs, and then I'll just get an armbar. One more time. 
I'm with a triangle. So I know like I cannot let him stack me. I move back, okay? I figure four, my leg. Roll under is really strong. If I can keep the figure four, great. I can lift, control, push. Okay, if he's too strong here, break his grip and then go back. Okay? Now you can finish him here. Okay, I like this one better than passing the leg over the head. Okay? I pass the leg over his head here. If he rolls this knee here that's on his belly, we'll open this way. And then you change for a nice armbar. Go back on. Let me get a keyboard. Okay, go really fast on. You know, I just follow him, yes. Yeah, I always keep the Kimura grip, the Kimura trap. I just release the Kimura trap after I stretch his hand, uh, his arm, and bring his hand close to my neck. Like, so when I go to the arm bar here, go on, he turns, I put his foot on the floor so I can scoop my hip out. Look, I stretch, then I change. Okay, don't try to do this. Because that's when your opponent like turn tongue down and, and, and skate. I used to train with the, uh, actually one of my students back in the day, he was really good in defending the armbar like this. I always like used to attack the armbar like this. But every time that I stretch his arm, he put a thumb down and start rolling belly down like this and I always lost the armbar. I was training with him. So, and then I felt like the best solution for that was to keep the Kimura trapped the whole time. So now he cannot turn. Right when I stretch, then I change. Yeah, I change just like to make him tap. All right, because you cannot make him tap like this. Okay, you gotta like change here. Okay? So, the detail of the technique is to lift your hips, put your hand like the C grip under, and then you make like a, a shelf. Because they're up on the floor. When you go back, you can push his hand really hard. And sometimes when you do this, like you already break his grip. If you now you keep torquing his his uh, arm and kick to break the grip, and then you get the key move. Okay. Uh, you see uh, which one you prefer. If you're passing the leg over the the head, or if it's uh, just keeping the the triangle. And of course, in the meantime, here. Sometimes I use this grip here. If I feel my opponent start stretching the arm, stretch the arm to not get tapped, then I change back to the triangle. Yeah. Because sometimes your opponent, like, he knows if you bring the hand behind his back, he's going to tap. So you just drag the arm over your head and then skip your hips really quick and then lock the triangle again. Okay? All right. Let's just practice this. It's the same triangle setup. You can go over the arm here or under the arm and just try both so you see how you feel, okay? And then after you get a triangle, your opponent to be doing this, okay? So one, two, three. 